Hello kids! I want you to get ready for a super fun art project today. And uh, all you're going to need is the things I have down here. You're going to need some watercolor paints and your brush. You're going to need, um, probably you're going to want a pencil and a marker or a crayon or something to write with a little later. And Da, 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 a straw, one of the most important things. We are going to do some straw paintings, some, I don't know, I've called them blowfish paintings. You can call them all sorts of things. Of course, I forgot to mention you're also going to need water for your watercolors, but I think that's a given. So, quick and easy. Here is how you do this. You're going to make some crazy, fun, loose, exciting watercolor shapes here with your um, your paint and your straw. Just gotta let it go and have some fun. It's gonna look really abstract and cool. And then maybe you can have some ideas, make some things out of them. So I'm putting down, look, I'm getting a lot of water in my brush and I'm getting making a puddle of paint. I don't know if you can see how puddly that is, but puddle of paint. And I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to blow it. Look how cool. Isn't that fun? I'm going to go find a different color. Let's do, oh, this green down here. I have a really big puddle, I think, of this. You have to have a lot of water. Look, I'm really stirring up the paint in here. You know, they're called watercolors because you have to have water to activate that paint. I see some boys and girls who sometimes forget to dip the brush in the water and they end up with dry, scratchy looking watercolors. All right, so do not forget that you need a lot of water to paint with watercolors, hence the name. All right, I've made now a pretty teal blue splotch, big puddle. I think this time I'm gonna turn my paper. I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow it this way. Ready? I'm gonna turn it and blow it the other way. Ooh, I blew really hard and look what it did there. It made all sorts of cool little extra, um, I don't know what would you call those, extra drips, extra pots. Let's do this. Ooh, awesome. I think this is so fun. What color should I use next? Let's try a yellow. A bright, pretty yellow. And I'm gonna put down here. Lots of water again. I've made a real puddle in my little well where my paint is. Just a real, and I'm making sure my brush just is chock full. Hang on, can you see it? It is. I'm trying to make it focus on my brush. It's just chock full of paint and just tapping it on here, getting that paint off. All right, Let's see what happens, I'm gonna blow very slowly. All right, now I'm gonna blow really hard. Look at that, it makes a big difference in how you blow. And I can control the direction depending on which way I blow it. Ooh, now it's cool, it's gonna mix. Ready? Look, look, the green, the, the blue and the yellow mixed and made green right there. So cool. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this and then we'll see what I end up with when I'm done.
look how cool that has turned out. I really, really love it. And you could go more, you could do a lot more. I could wait for this to dry and then put even more colors on top of it and see how they mix, how they combine. Um, I could keep going with this and make it bigger if I wanted to, but I have another idea I want to try. So I'm gonna get a fresh sheet of paper and be right back. Now I'm back with my clean paper. So I started thinking about some different things you could do with this straw painting, this blow painting. One thing I thought uh, was why not try to make a tree? Let's, let's try it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw the trunk. And to draw a trunk of a tree, you're just gonna do two, look, I'm making a little wiggly lines and then it's gonna curve at the bottom. Make it sort of skinny, wiggly lines, curve at the bottom. All right, now here are the roots. Boop, boop, boop. Now, let's see if I can make some green leaves at the top of this tree with my straw painting. more. Branches come right out of the trunk usually, so that's why I'm putting all of my, my paint down here. We might try it up somewhere else later. Let's try this. I think it's starting to look like a crazy tree. Let me get, I have a different color green. I'm gonna try a, a different color green now. And I'm gonna put it just a little bit to the side here. This is more of a yellow green. And if you don't have this color, you can get it by mixing your yellow and green on a separate little plate beside your watercolors. Don't mix them both in the same little well, though. That's a mess, All right? Wow, I'm loving this tree. And I'm finding out that if I have a different color paint, the paint tends to want to go where it's already been before. The paint is wanting to, my light green paint, my yellow green was trying to just stay exactly where the other green had gone. I had to blow really hard to make it go its own original direction. Let's try. Just a little more and then I'm gonna go on to something else. Let's see, let's do some more of this yellow green. Let's see if I make a puddle further up, up here. How is that gonna look? I think that's no problem. So there you see, you can use it to make your, your straw and your paint to make a crazy tree. I think now I'm gonna paint the bottom of my tree, sort of brown. Look 
with that. And I might even put a little grass around the bottom. Look. Just to make it look like it, it's standing on the ground. Otherwise, your tree looks like it's floating in the air. Okay. Now, I thought of this other fun thing I could make. I'm going to let my tree dry, and then I'll show you the next thing. I thought, I thought the next thing I would make might be a jellyfish. Here's how I draw a jellyfish. You know, they're sort of shaped a little like an umbrella. I'm just going to do an arch, like a rainbow. I want my jellyfish to have some eyes. I know they don't really, but I'm giving him eyes. He's looking up at something in the water. Maybe he's looking at a little fish up here. Draw a fish, make one curve, another curve. See that shape? Almost like a pair of lips, but open at one end. He's looking at that fish. All right, now I'm gonna get some crazy colors. Put them down here at the bottom of my jellyfish. What happens if I put a bunch of colors up there at once? Let's see. My colors are sort of mixed together, but I don't care. Now I'm going to turn it upside down so I can blow, blow these colors away from me. Look at that silly jellyfish. Now I'm going to paint the top part of him. I think I'm going to paint it pink. He's going to be a pink jellyfish. And let's make his little fish friend, maybe red. And we'll add a little bit of water at the top. I was going to put water going all the way down, but I need to wait for him to dry before I do that. Anyway, I think you have seen some of the fun you can have with this straw painting. Um, what are some things you could make? How about a crazy a, a face with crazy hair coming out of the top of it? How about an animal, a cra an animal with a bunch of legs, a new kind of animal? I want you to think of the things you can do and um, just get really creative. And have a good time. Good job, everybody. Bye.